Yo, what is up everybody? It's Peace. I welcome to another video. So this video is a long time coming. I am going to show you essentially how I assemble my mitzvahs. So I've been making mitzvahs for quite a while. It's something that I found when I was looking up stuff to eat on the ketogenic diet slash carnivore diet. Um, so it's essentially all meat um, and cheese, which uh, is pretty much carnivore. So first you start off with a pound of ground beef and you mix that together with uh, about a teaspoon of salt and one egg. So you mix that up in the bowl and then uh, once it's all mushed together, you take a pan and you put a sheet of foil down. Um, the recipe that I got like calls for parchment paper and whatnot, but I like to uh, use um, foil because it doesn't stick um, at all. You lay that down and then you press out your crust. That sausage essentially is your crust. You put that at 350 degrees for 15 minutes, so just in time. And you get something like this. You like that timing? I did that for you guys. So here's your uh, one pound of ground beef with your egg and salt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dress this now. So for your sauce, usually people uh, put tomato sauce on their pizzas um, normally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do cream cheese instead. So now you can uh, do this with a spoon or with your hand or whatever. I just got the regular like Aldi cream cheese uh, I've gotten in Philadelphia before. It doesn't make any much of a difference. You just grab a glob of it, like about maybe an ounce or two, and you just, Take it in your hands and you just spread it across your pizza like so. You can't really see it yet, but give me a second. And it doesn't need to be perfect. It'll melt in the oven. I'm gonna go rinse my hand real quick. All right, so there we go. Now uh, that you got your cream cheese on there as your sauce, you can continue to add your actual cheese. So I like to use mozzarella or Munster because uh, they burn the best and they give you that nice golden brown on the top. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to do something a little unconventional. I'm going to add a couple of garlic flakes on here for some extra flavor. This is not something that I would recommend for someone strictly on keto. Spices can cause immune responses uh, in some people, uh, especially uh, those that uh, are allergic to plants. Uh, I don't think plants are really a part of the human diet, but they uh, are very useful uh, in the form of, of medicine a lot of the times. Um, so you guys aren't going to like this either. So I shredded my own uh, mozzarella, but I am going to add parsley to it because uh, I like the way it looks. And that's basically the only reason. So I'm going to mix that in together. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on top of my pizza. And it's going to get nice and golden brown. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Let's just get all of that. And this is only like half a brick of cheese that I, um, that I, uh, tore down so four ounces you can do more cheese and you can try and spread it uh, a little bit more thinly but then it, it ends up just like congealing in on itself anyway so that's that you spread that out a little bit and then for toppings uh they used bacon and chicken um i've got some bacon bits that i uh cooked up a little bit earlier so I'm going to go ahead and put a few of these on top. You don't want to overcrowd your pizza because that'll take away from the, um, what's it called? The, the brownness uh, of the cheese. We're going to try and get some uh, ones that are a little bit less cooked on here because we are going to be exposing this to the broiler and uh, we don't want them to completely overcook. All right, that's, that's plenty right there. So... Uh, after I pulled it from the oven, I set it to the broil setting. Uh, so it's broiling on high right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Is it cool enough yet? Nope. I'm going to burn my hand. Um, usually that takes me longer, so uh, I can just grab it with my hand. But you grab your, your thingy, and then you go back to your oven. Now, 
Then you put it on the top shelf. That will allow you to cook your pizza to your desired ratio. So um, the prep time isn't very long for this. Uh, mixing up the ground beef uh, with the egg and the salt doesn't take very long. So once you have that done, that's uh, like a few minutes, then you have the, the spreading out phase, then you put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that's 15 minutes. So when we started this video, we were already um, just a minute left in that 15 minutes. And as you can see, we're only at the five minute mark and our pizza is already in there. So we're gonna leave it in there for about a minute or two and we're gonna check on it. So our goal is to get that nice um, bubbling of the mozzarella on the top. That signature pizza. So you could take this time to put away some spices, your ingredients, whatever you used for your pizza. And I'll have you know you can do all types of toppings on this. It doesn't have to be bacon or chicken. This is this is your journey, so do with it what you want. I just chose bacon this time and a little bit of garlic because, you know, mm, I'm a little bit Italian, you know. Gotta have my garlic. But, uh, yeah, so it's been about a minute. So let's go ahead and uh, check on that. The cheese is starting to melt, so I'm gonna give it another minute and we will see. How have you guys been? You guys uh, might be following me newly from uh, some of the fasting videos that I posted. I tried um, a five day fast, I failed at four days, and then less than two weeks later, I tried to go immediately into another five day fast, which I failed at just shy of three days. I wouldn't recommend that. I also did a lot of cardio, uh, including running long distances during that time period, and that messed me up. Um, but it's a it's a it's a journey. It's a struggle. Um, uh, a lot of people asked me if I had lost any strength, and they they warned me about my muscles getting eaten. But as long as you're doing exercise uh, during a, a fasting period, your body uh, will be in starvation mode, but it'll also understand that you do need to maintain that muscle mass in order for your survival. You have to tell your body what's important essentially. The human body is one of the most amazing machines that that we have access to, um, and all of us have one. Uh, so it, it just, it shouldn't surprise you what the body is capable of in terms of adapting to different scenarios and, and, and et cetera. All right, so it's been about two minutes. Um, I'm gonna turn off the broiler and I'm gonna pull it after another 30 seconds. You kind of gotta like feel it, you know? So, yeah. All right. That's enough of that. All right, so as you can see, we got this nice uh, yellowish tint on there. The, 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 the cooked mozzarella. So that's really nice. We're gonna let that sit and cool. And yeah, you can dress this with whatever you want. Pot jardinier, Parmesan cheese, whatever other carnivore things, a fried egg. I mean, the world is your oyster, but this is how you make a carnivore pizza. Um, you just don't include any plant matter if you're going super strict and if you're very sensitive to stuff like that. But uh, this is the pizza that I make uh, pretty often. Uh, I have the butcher box subscription that some of you guys know uh, about. Um, I posted that video about the salmon a, a while back, but um, I, uh, I get ground beef every month uh, in my butcher box. So I always have ground beef available. Uh, it's the cheapest meat that you can find and you can do carnivore cheaply. Uh, meat also will fill you up as well, uh, way better than any vegetable can. So people like think that there's a lot of barriers to this, including health problems. Like, oh, if I eat meat, then I'll have all this cholesterol or whatever. Uh, and then in addition to that, oh man, it's so expensive. How can you eat meat all the time? It's like, you get full off of this, you can fast intermittently. It, it just helps your life so much. You don't need to constantly be refueling because you're not dependent on carbohydrates. But anyway, that's the carnivore pizza. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I would try it for you, but it's really hot and I don't want to burn myself. 
and I refuse to edit videos because that's not my style, baby. So uh, I'm just going to post this and um, I'm going to enjoy my pizza offline. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Go check out my other content and uh, yeah, bye-bye.